It is a 36-year-old program that teaches kids with disabilities to ski, hitting the slopes again today at Mount Southington. Quinnipiac University students have been working with the kids all winter long. News 8's photojournalist Tom Perrin gives us a look at adaptive skiing. Come to me. Walk to me a little bit. We're here for the last day of our Skiers Unlimited program, which is a program that's been in existence Go that way. for more than 30 years. Where we've partnered with a lot of different groups to allow to be able to learn how to ski. Sometimes when you have a, a, a child with a special need, you feel left out of things, and you don't really appreciate all the opportunities that exist for your children. We've met many parents over the years that when they have brought their kids out to this program, the first thing is that they may say is, I never envisioned that they'd learn how to ski. I'm Steve Balkanoff. I work at Connecticut Children's Medical Center. It's basically just like a rope tether that we put on the tips of the skis. The volunteer commitment is above and beyond anything I've ever experienced before. We're really limited by what's in their mind. You know, if you feel like you can do this, our, our requirements, we don't do a sit skiing form of skiing, so, but we do have kids that use wheelchairs. So long as they can stand for about 10 minutes with assistance, they can ski with us. Many of the volunteers are students down at Quinnipiac. They're future occupational therapists and physical therapists and potentially doctors. And we hope that they keep this in mind. What you're working towards is a quality of life. You're not seeing somebody as a patient, but you're seeing somebody that you're going to help enjoy a better quality of their life.